Tesla Incorporated seems to be making lots of headlines these days, and at this rate, there's no stopping them. If you're a fan of tech like me, you'd know their advances are massive, and the latest one of them is the humanoid robots that could be used by you and me. Mind blowing, yeah? Well, let's get into it. Tesla AI Day Summary CEO of Tesla Incorporated and tech giant Elon Musk has brought out the newest prototype of a humanoid robot being created by his automobile company. The robot named Optimus came out on stage at an event in Silicon Valley where it waved to the crowd and lifted its knees. The tech giant said that Optimus was still in development but could be sold to people in a couple of years. The company's engineers state that the mass-market Tesla bots would be experimented with by operating some tasks in the car plants and that sounds reasonable to me. The model was wheeled onto the stage during a yearly Tesla AI Day presentation. The audience was shown a clip of the bot completing easy tasks such as carrying boxes, watering plants, and lifting metal bars. The controversial billionaire explained that the humanoids would be manufactured en masse at a price way lower than you expected, at $20,000, and would be made available in five years or less. Musk talked about expecting abundance in future. The CEO added that is an essential change of civilization quite different from what we're used to. I can't wait. Financial reviewers and investors have been uh, skeptical about Tesla turning to robotics, and I can relate. They instead advised the company to concentrate on programs closer to the company's main business of electric vehicles. However, Musk asserted that he wished to decipher one of the most difficult issues with AI, how to develop machinery that can replace a human being. Sounds weird, I know. The tech overlord who once gave caution about artificial intelligence becoming a danger to the human race explained that Tesla sought to make certain that the evolution to a civilization in which robots performed the jobs and humans got the advice was a protected one. We always want to be careful we don't go down the Terminator path, he warned, making reference to a blockbuster movie about a killer cyborg. Musk added that the company was designing safeguards comprising a stop button that cannot be altered. Thank goodness, I would just hate to be featured in another Terminator movie. Elon also maintained that shareholders of the company would decide if the company was socially accountable. Is the humanoid Tesla bot necessary? Fans of Elon Musk and Tesla, uh, me included, were fascinated by the reveal of Tesla Bot in California on the 30th of September. I equally liked the theatrics, but I don't think I'm the only one wondering why Optimus had to be, you know, human-like. While the fans and followers of Musk despise any criticism whatsoever, Musk himself has explained that Optimus is nothing close to ready for release. The idea made for Tesla Bots is that they are qualified to serve in human environments with human tools. Folks might feel more at home working with a robot that resembles them. I mean, if they're designed to look like me, then they look great no matter what. But the question arises, how practical are they? Owen Nicholson, chief executive of Slamcore, which specializes in the sensor-driven vision, said, A lot of companies work in the area of humanoids because it's interesting for the public to see. But wheel-based robots and even drones are so much easier to control. The amount of work that goes into just getting a humanoid to stand upright is huge. The robotics behind the Tesla bot looks okay. After all, Tesla is no newcomer in this field. However, Nicholson asserts that by the time of release, the humanoid would have developed into something more practical. Nicholson adds that he'd put some dollars into creating more wheel-based robots. To be honest, I've seen a whole bunch of robots in different form factors created to clean, teach, play chess and other games, sing and dance. Whatever you could think of, someone somewhere is probably in the works to create a robot for it. And in all of these, I have picked out two things. Some robots work a lot better than others, and presentations hardly ever go to plan. Robots these days have improved relatively quicker than human beings in the last 10 years. The robots of this year are way more qualified than the ones that were produced years ago, although it has been proven over and over again that the most remarkable robots happen not to resemble human beings. Warehouse robots, precision surgery robots, and window cleaning robots, and none of these robots are human-like. The expectation may also be a fraction of the issue. Humanoid robots may be anticipated to work like human beings, accomplishing a bunch of varied tasks like holding a baby, making a coffee, and mowing the lawn, the perfect companion. However, Professor Helen Hasty of the National Robotarium in Edinburgh says humanoids are not expected to be able to multitask. She said, What's most important is that the robot is fit for the task it is designed for. For instance, a robot built to labor in the kitchen might not need any legs but wheels instead. Also, robots built to operate with weak folks, like in care homes for example, may be adequately fitted to resemble a human being, but of course not too much. I for one do not look forward to getting freaked out in 
my old age. It is a splendor well known as the Uncanny Valley. It connotes that if something resembles a human being, but not believably so, that thing comes to be unsettling and even scary. In Professor Helen Hasty's own words, if it's too human-like, it will put off the human. And I couldn't agree more. Musk's plan for a useful and marketable Tesla bot. Other automobile companies like Honda Mojave and Toyota Motor have formulated humanoid robot models capable of doing technical acts like shooting a basketball, for instance. However, Tesla Incorporated is unaccompanied in lifting the opportunity in the market for a marketable humanoid robot that could be very useful and capable of working in the factory. The next era of Tesla bots would make use of parts designed by the company, including a chip system, a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack situated in the robot's torso, and actuators to steer its limbs. The Tesla bot is built to weigh 73 kilograms. Engineers of the company, who, like Elon, were all putting on black t-shirts with a portrayal of metallic robot hands creating the shape of a heart during the presentation, explained how they formulated the Tesla bot's features, even in parts like how the fingers can move, with an emphasis on bringing down the price of production. We are trying to follow the goal of the fastest path to a useful robot that can be made at volume, Musk explained. He asserts that by creating a robotics enterprise, the company is altering the extent of a known goal assertion that has come to be a fraction of its attraction to climate activists and investors by dedicating to hastening the world's shift to sustainable power. Optimus is not directly in line with accelerating sustainable energy, the CEO said. I think the main mission does somewhat broaden with the advent of Optimus to, you know, I don't know, making the future awesome. Elon has defined the occasion as aimed at recruiting hands, and the engineers present on stage answered to a brilliant crowd. The engineers narrated the procedure by which the company formulated robot hands and made use of crash simulator technology to assess the Tesla bot's skill to fall flat on its face and not break. It was amazing stuff. They really put on a show. Elon Musk, who has previously spoken about the dangers of AI, said the total rollout of Tesla bots was likely to alter civilization. However, he explained he reckoned the company's shareholders needed to have a part in vetting their actions. If I go crazy, you can fire me, he said. This is important. The reactions from fans and followers on Twitter were quite positive, concentrating on the momentum of Tesla's growth action since August 2021, when the company announced its project, with a publicity stunt featuring someone in a white suit simulating a human robot. If there's one thing Musk knows how to do, it's put on a show. Henri Ben Amour, a robotics professor at Arizona State University, said Musk's price mark of $20,000 was a decent proposition, since existing costs are around $100,000 for humanoid robots. There's some discrepancy between sort of the ambition and what they have presented, Amour said. When it comes to dexterity, speed, the ability to walk in a stable fashion and so on, there's still a lot of work to be done. Also, Aaron Johnson, a mechanical engineering professor at Carnegie Mellon University, equally mentioned that the robot's necessity was uncertain. What is impressive is that they got to that level so quickly. What is still a little murky is what exactly the use case is for them to make millions of these, he said. The company also talked about its long-awaited self-driving tech at the occasion. Self-driving cars first, autonomous robots next. Back in May, Musk asserted that the most valuable car maker in the world would be worth nothing without attaining maximum self-driving ability, and it encounters thriving regulatory inquiries and also technical hurdles. Elon said months ago that beta testing of the company's entire self-driving ability would be available for global release by the end of the year. However, certain restrictions depict hurdles. Musk prefers to have a priority, and in 2022, it looks like it will be humanoid robots. The Tesla bots would be the most significant things the company operated on in 2020. The Tesla bot, Optimus, would utilize the same AI systems that are supported in powering Tesla cars. Musk also stated that the 5'8 humanoid robot would feature a screen on its face and would be capable of lifting 150 pounds and traveling at about 5 miles per hour. Earlier, Musk told his investors that the Tesla bot's first use would be at a Tesla factory, but later in future, he envisions it assisting to fix labor scarcities. Well, I don't know about you, but I believe that Bumblebee would be so proud of Optimus. <laughs> What do you think about humanoid robots? If you like this video, make sure to click a card on your screen for more content like this.